It's backbreaking work in oppressive heat. We're just sandbagging up. For Nicholas Burke, that's 450 sandbags filled and another 800 to go. Getting prepared for the hot water coming. Hopefully we work for nothing, but it's better to work for nothing than save a house, you know. That house is this one, belonging to Burke's cousin in the bayou town of Gibson. Friends and family gathering to build a wall against any encroaching water. A final defense, built sandbag by sandbag. It's hard to see everything you have, you know, just get ruined, so you, you try everything you can. While some people here in Gibson are preparing for the possibility of flooding, others here say they plan to wait and see what happens with this bayou once the Morganza opens. It don't fear me at all. Lewis Henderson lives along Bayou Black, which is expected to rise up to five feet if the Morganza opens. The commercial fisherman, though, isn't worried. He raised his home five years ago after Hurricane Katrina and doesn't think it will flood. I don't believe it's going to happen. Because the wife, she get a little upstairs about it. It's a flooding risk others here acknowledge and are willing to deal with should the Morganza spillway open for the first time in nearly 40 years. It's a flood risk. We got the bias come up and down, you know. It's just, you know, it's been since 73 since they opened up the Morganza. And just do what we got to do. A potential spillway opening that is out of their hands, but very much on their minds. In Gibson, Maya Rodriguez, Channel 4 Eyewitness News. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to like that. Yeah.